So have you ever wondered how much money the Vatican made off the Holocaust? I mean, probably not, but you're about to find out. While we might never know an exact number, it stands to reason that the answer's a lot. In June of 1942, the Vatican created the Institute for the Works of Religion. You'd probably never guess it from the name, but this is the thing that's colloquially known as the Vatican Bank. While on the surface, this could seem like a typical restructuring, the purpose of the bank was actually far more sinister. It was to conceal from the Allies the Vatican's investment in German businesses. But they weren't just betting on German businesses, they were betting against the Jews. The Vatican was also heavily invested in life insurance companies that they knew were stealing money from Holocaust victims. These companies would pay out the victims' policies to themselves, and when surviving children or grandchildren went to the companies to collect, they were refused because they had no death certificate as proof of their relatives' deaths. Because the Vatican were only investors and not direct insurers, they were able to reap the full benefits of their investments without having to pay any restitution following the war. 